a stand with quite a lot of variety here at the National Powering Championships is the Farmhand Stand. I'm joined here by Declan Smith, the machinery demonstrator at Farmhand. Declan, there's quite a staggering amount of machinery on display here. Yeah, well, in fairness, for the range of machinery we supply, this is only a small sample of it. So we've, uh, we've represented Amazon and we have two uh, self-propelled crone harvesters here. Um, yeah, really, it is a, a small sample of what we have here to display. And you, know? you said there's a lot of brands to manage. So yeah. Is it a challenge managing them brands with a, quite a wide customer base for the demands? Um, to be honest, we kind of have a brand to suit everyone. Do you know That's what right. I mean? So you have the smaller markets, let's say, of uh, self-propelled forage harvesters, maybe a dozen or so a year. And then you have, let's say, uh, loaders attached to a tractor so you have, and linkages. So you'd be selling them in the hundreds. So the, the customer base is completely varied. And sure, we have uh, a wide variety of uh, dealer met network to handle all that. So. And it's been quite a challenging year for the sector. How have you had to cope with that with regards to managing these brands? There's quite a wide amount of brands I'd and different issues across the board. I'd say we've been, um, we've been faced with challenges similar to the rest of the sector. It's been delivery dates have been moving all the time yeah. and that's really fallen back down the chain of let's say the supply chain to the manufacturer. Yeah. So that's been causing difficulties and disappointment as well but because the demand is still high people are willing to hold off and wait for their machine so and with regards to like the advancements in technology in the last couple of years what would you highlight as some of the biggest uh, developments in the last couple of years in the ag sector for machinery i would say um, gps controlled spreaders is one of the biggest um, developments in let's say technology in it because that itself would have a very environmental impact because you want to you need to use the best get the best out of your fertilizer but you also need to use it to get, get your crops to grow. So that really kind of um, gets you more bang for your buck, let's say, out of your fertilizer. Obviously you sell a wide variety of machinery. Have yep. you, what has the market interest been like in farmers upgrading to these GPS technologies or even retrofitting them? Well, I think that um, farmers don't mind spending the money if they can see the returns. Yep. Do you know what I mean? There is a, a growing, uh, demand for all this stuff and with the, the price everything's increasing but all, obviously the price of food is increasing but when your price of inputs is increasing as well you have to manage them a lot better so spending more money on machinery can justify itself an awful lot easier absolutely and you mentioned them price increases has that had an effect on overall sales figures for the year or is it remain Not similar really because it's it's everything's going up at the yeah. same time and it's really out of our control so it's for much further back down the chain this is all happening so we can only, well hopefully, it hasn't affected it yet, yeah. but we'll see what happens next year. And then look into the future from all your various brands you represent, is there anything exciting in the pipeline that you can tell us about? Uh, not just off the top of my head, but you can see here, um, maybe one of this is the first of this machine here, if you wanted to see here to the right. So you can see this uh, is a 12 row maze header, right? Yeah. And this is one is has a, a moving blade on it, let's say to a stationary blade that you usually, ha usually have. And the um, person that bought this is because he can use it for whole crop as well as maize. All right, so that kind of, it's a very expensive machine, but with a dual purpose, it kind yeah. of makes an awful lot more sense. Absolutely. You know? So this is actually covering nine meters, 12 rows of maize. So it's a fairly it's a lot serious of bang. way to It's a lot to of cover anger and bulk that one, yeah. Yeah, and it is, it is, it is. But that would be the newest machine we'd have here at the minute. Like, there is other ends of technology, but they've been existing for a couple of years so far, like, you know? And for, just on the last point, for Farmhand itself, what is the importance of exhibiting at the National Climate Championships in regards to interaction and sales? Well, listen, we want to uh, just, it's a good way to actually gauge the market, to see what yeah. people want to do. And it's also, um, we want people to have a look at what we have to show. Do you know what I mean? And people, even we have a, a throne here that people like getting their picture taken yeah. in front of. And it's really just brand awareness is what we want to show. Do you know what I mean? It's just to show that we are in the market and we're, we're doing well in it. Do you know what I mean? So that's kind of what we need to try and improve. Declan, thanks very much for your time. All right. Perfect. You're welcome. Thank you.